Welcome back to a new course today. I'm looking at ability to stream from twitch.tv into VLC, a open source video player, which I've been using for years and years and years. I use it for everything I'd use for watching movies back. And uh, just recently, I've been looking for a way of watching Twitch streams without all the buffering, without any lag, be able to watch the source video that the streamer uses. That's normally something like 60 frames per second, very good high quality picture quality without it lagging, rebuffering, just being annoying. And so I found a way to do that using a thing called live streamer stream link and vlc and combining them all together so i wanted to do a quick course on that today so the six areas i want to cover open source tools to watch the source version of the stream from the from the twitch streamer with less lag or buffering i actually tried this for probably about six or seven hours without any dropouts whatsoever so it's definitely better on the cpu it can handle the stream better because i'm not streaming inside a browser i'm not getting all the all the extensions that i've got loaded in my chrome browser and so i'm just i'm getting rid of all of the latency all the lag all the things that can cause the buffering especially if you're using the flash player inside of a browser it can affect it why not just watch the live stream from the website why do i need to do this give you five reasons six reasons why i do that 1.2 screencast setting up of the live stream and twitch gui program screencast using twitch gui program and vlc together to watch a live stream recording your vlc stream which is one of the reasons why i wanted to do this as well i wanted an easy way being able to record the stream that i I'm watching and converting it into a format that you can eventually use then for video editing and then finally some settings in vlc which make the whole live experience just a whole lot better in terms of sound quality and video quality you can manipulate all of that inside of vlc so i hope you're excited about this because it definitely has an impact on a live stream just removes all that latency all that buffering it's not running inside of a browser so it's it's not having any issues there and also it's getting hardware accelerated at the core level and vlc being an open source program it's been around for years it's very solid at doing that so let's get into this course i think you're going to enjoy this one 